Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mosum Gaming, and we're back with some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So, we came back. I did rest really quickly to uh, hopefully get rid of all our weird status stuff, get all our points and stuff back from everything. Um, let's go ahead. We, uh, we're going to talk over here to see if we can get our thief out of jail. Uh, the tiefling chained up in Defender's Heart. What can you tell me about him? Uh, Wolgenip is a petty thief from a gang of tieflings up in Canabras, so we call them in these parts. They tried to rob a vendor of magical items recently. Unfortunately, we apprehended only one of them. The rest of managed to escape. I have nowhere else to keep him apart from Fender's heart, but that's hardly a prison. Uh, Wolgenip knows it too. He's been begging us for days to let him have free years of vouch for him. He's already asked you to put in good word for it, hasn't he? You want to recruit him, put him in good use. Go ahead, take him off the guard's hand. We can ill afford him. Okay. Um... Sure. I, I I mean, there's not another follow-up, so I guess there's that. Uh, they're going to desecrate the wardstone. Uh, don't let it become a weapon. Um, all right. I, I mean, I guess easy enough. Let's go see. Uh, I'm not sure who to take out. Um, I don't know. I got an idea or two. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Can we talk to Delvin? No. Nobody will, uh... Well, Chief, talk to your Beth. Decide to make part of my troop. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> you must All right. be a smooth talker. You're sure to regret this. This <laughs> tiefling will... You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. You can't even be happy for me, can you? I pity you. I'll leave All right. now, Chief. Straight down to business. <clears throat> you see, I'm one of those guys that people around here call thieflings. We just call ourselves the family. After we knocked over that shop and I got stuck here in the Defender's Heart, a little bird told me that Big Sister Charisme wanted to see me. That she had some questions to ask me. You following? Now, she won't be asking me questions like, Wolgif, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, Wolgif, you're so thin, didn't they feed you? No, something serious has gone down and I just know they want to try to pin something on me. I can feel it in my tail. So, I knew right away that I couldn't go alone. You turned up just in time, Chief. You don't need to do anything when we get there. Just stand behind me and look mean, and I'll handle the rest. All right, well, we've got a, we have a couple things that, in theory, have been unlocked for us now, so we should hopefully have some options here on the map that we can go take a look at, as if we didn't already have enough. Um, all right, loot. Light hammer. All right. Doesn't look like anything important that we need there. Shield? Anything fancy? No. I do like the fact that it's up there on the on the map, though. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Let us, I guess, head out. Gonna let me click somewhere. There we go. Out we go. So we got to figure out our party in theory here. Let's come out and just. Come on, I was clicking and it just... Oh, I guess we have to click in an area that uh, is highlighted. Uh, yeah, I don't need any of that. Um, sure. Way to get some more torches, that's good. Make sure everybody's got a torch in their hand. All right, out we go, uh, leave. Okay, so the question is, who do we take? Now, she's been good, but he's... Maybe gonna fill the same role. Well, on, let's uh, let's find out here. Um. All right, Eldritch scoundrel. So close range. He's dual wielding. He's running braces of armor, which gives him an AC of seventeen. Not great, but we run him in as the backup. Uh, let's make sure he's got a torch in one hand. She. Let's make sure she's got a torch in one hand too. So similar in that she's she's a front line with some special magic that she can do. He's also gonna be melee, not frontline per se, but melee. Um, and because he's a scoundrel, obviously he's got some stuff he can do as well. Um, we may as well get him some scrolls. Of course, the other option is because he's kind of illusionisty. maybe we take him and 
dead of the scroll savant. Let's do that for now. All right, so we're gonna leave. I'm gonna leave uh, Nino behind. Nenio, whatever it is, and we'll take him with us. So we'll accept. Nenio. All right. Fine line with fascination. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, Tiefling's hideout. I want to do this first. Uh, it was just looped. Okay. Let's go ahead. Can we get to that? Yeah. It's right on this side, and then maybe we can go to the Blackland Library next, or the Wine Cellar. All right. Sneak. Failed to sneak past some people. That's fine. That's fine. We should be okay. Fingers crossed. Um, they put us right on top of them. We really failed to sneak past them. All right. Um... Yeah, we'll just step up and stab. Okay. Um, all right, let's see what we've got locked or unlocked. Okay, so he's got Spy Rage, fine. Acrobatics. Resist Sonic. Oh, okay, this is probably from his Tiefling, right? He can resist some abilities, that's fine. We don't care about any of that. Don't see anything special there. Um, okay. All right, those aren't bad. I was just looking to see if I needed to, uh, if he had any attacks we needed to make sure we're, uh, whatever the word I'm looking for is, we're enabled. Oh, that was a kind of a big hit. Not a fan of that. Okay. Oh, and then you missed. Um,. Let's see if you can finish off the giant spider. Nope. Um, we can probably finish that one, but let's go here. We might be able to kill this one in one shot. No, no, we missed. We just missed everything. I wasn't trying to get away. Uh, never mind. That bench is in the way there. Oh, come on! Finish him. Really? We just We just can't hit anything anymore? Is that, is that what's happened? They can. No glory there we go. Risk. Um, how about you go to... Oh, we can't go very far. I will walk you up this far anyway. Nope, can't roll. There we go. Well, she rolled well, but then she uh, didn't do a whole lot of damage. Jeez, we have just gone cold. I mean, it's a good thing it's this fight, right? Wow. We have just gone cold. There we go. Sneak attack got us somewhere, though. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, we need. We should have drank some blood. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll do it when we get... Well... We'll worry about it later. All right, sure. Oh, I do want to change my formation actually a little bit. That. There we go. family, huh? Basement is dark and dank and immediately struck by the hostility of the gathered thief fleets. Five of them are kneeling along a wall, separate from the rest. The tall woman, when queen of females with the tip of a knife, creature with narrowed eyes. Brother Wolf, Wolf, you got my message then. Sorry, I couldn't swing by sooner, dear sister uh, Karis Mai. It was just one thing after another. First, I was in shackles. Next, no, well, now I was still in shackles, and I was being watched, and then the chief got me out, and I came here straight away. Knew you'd be waiting on me. Enough talking or else we'll be here all night. So we had a clear plan. We were going to wait till night fell, slip in the shop, grab the goods, and leave. Even if the neighbors called the guard, there was time to get away. What happened? 
That bitch Earbeth showed up almost right away. She knew we'd be there. Somebody betrayed us, and I have a good idea who that is. Better make it quick. Um, I'm not lawful. Um, Canaveras burning. Why are you squabbling here instead of fleeing the city? She speaks. I thought Wolves have only brought you so you'd have someone to hide behind if things went south. I'd be glad to leave, like the rest of my brothers and sisters, but in the family there's nothing worse than betrayal. And it's something we do not forgive. We do not forgive anyone who lets traitors off the hooks either. If I don't find the rat my superiors, let's just say I wish I was burning in Canaveras. I want to keep living, so I'm going to take a chance until I find out who the traitor is. No one is leaving. Um, do you think Wolzhif knows the name of the traitor? Yes, he knows the name of the traitor. Every gang the, that Brother Wolzhif has been a part of has very quickly come to an end. Their hideout location was passed to the guards. Their competitors found out where they would ambushed them. Wolzhif is the only one who always comes out smelling like roses. If you think about it, you'll come to the same conclusion as us. Uh, I'd have said that meant Wolzhif was cursed with finding friends among losers and screw-ups. But now that he's with us, that must mean the curse has been broken. <laughs> that depends. He has indeed been most fortunate to find himself in a party with me. On the other hand, he also ended up in a party with you. <laughs> All right, what happened? What's there to tell? About a week ago, Sister Karasmai got six of us together in this very basement. Me and the five over there, I mean. She rounds us up, says we got a score, Ancestries and Wonders, the place nobody's ever been able to hit. The place has been guarded by a golem. And now, a powerful scroll... It would knock out a golem just happened to come into our possession, along with a tip-off that the shop owner would be gone on a particular night. All six of us know a bit of magic, and we know that enchanted junk will sell for a pretty penny, so we're in. Yeah, it does seem a little suspicious. And the most important thing was that none of us was to be hanging about the shop ahead of time. No casing out the place, no calling attention to ourselves from either the golem or its master. The job was top secret. It's all true so far. Go on. We did everything right. With the locks, the golem, I picked the lock. I remember clear as day. Sister Delana was on lookout. Brother Melron had the scroll. That sounds like a setup, huh? Doffy, Tavy, and Varner brought the sacks. We covered the windows, lit the torches, and remember scooping up rings and tossing a sack, and one right expensive one rolled away from me. I crawled under a table after it. Next thing I know, Airbeth was out there. Everybody scampered, but I was still under the table. Not my finest moment. I was going to wait it out, but then those blockheads were dragging me out by my tail and put me in shackles. They took all my rings off me, about 20000 worth. I had insult to injury. I never found the last one. In the end, I got busted over nothing. So they caught you, poor thing, stripped you of your loot, and you didn't even manage to stash anything. Where's the moon of the abyss, Brother Wolgif? Um, why would she arrest her own inf in informant? Took the words right out of my mouth. It doesn't make sense. If I was the rat, I'd have kissed her on the hand and been long gone by now. You know me, sister. I'm a cautious fellow, not an idiot. Why would I go against the family? So the fish in the saline can have... So the fish in the saline can have a knife with Wolgif-sized dinner? The Moon of the Abyss is a pretty bobble to be sure, but it's just an amulet. It ain't worth dying over. Ah, that's what they're going to steal. You know your best people would protect you. You knew you could pin the moon going missing on them. And now you've come here with backup. You know exactly what I'm going to say to you. Our problem is nobody's returned the amulet to Fry Melon. Are you giving Arabeth a cut? Is that it? Have you seen her? Do you think she'd take a cut anything I offered her? She can't be bought. She's like three heralds of Imaday rolled, all rolled into one. He speaks the truth. You find some knights who take bribes, I'm sorry to say, but Irabeth Tirabade isn't one of them. That's the whole story. Some family this turned out to be. It's just a name in the end. In a real family, people take care, take each other at the word. They don't throw around accusations. I didn't take the moon of the abyss. What am I going to do with it? You can't sell it to no crusaders. It's a special item. You can't wear it. It'll get nicked. It's pretty to look at, but it ain't that pretty. If it's that important, you sister cares my off find it. I'll drag the traitor here by his horns just so you don't end up at the bottom of the cellar. But you know what you're going to owe me for that? An apology. Right here in front of everyone. You apologize loud and clear so everybody hears it. You'll say, sorry, Wolzhik, you're a good guy, and I was wrong about you. Fine. You're one of my people, which is why I'm going to give you some time. But if you run, Brother Wolzhik, your family will get you wherever you go. You'll spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder, tossing and turning at night, burn poison in every cup and every meal. You look into the eyes of every tiefling you meet, wondering if the family's come for you. You'll have no peace. But one day, you'll be tired of running. You'll stop to catch your breath. And that is when we'll get you. Got that? You've a way with words, Sister Karasmaya. A way that almost maybe wet myself. But a way, nonetheless. Let's go, Chief. Let's go chat to that scary girl, Gal Arabeth. She knows a little. We can ask her who ratted us out. Ah. All right. Not really worried about it. We can find the traitor, but I'm, I'm more about worried about finding whatever the gem is. One will lead to the other, right? All right, what's that? Oh, we... I cooked food when we when we rested, by the way. We had seasoned wings and thighs. We did fail on our uh 
whatever the other role was, scrolls and potions maybe. Oh wait, well we can go back and do that. Um, wow, you gotta go all the way that way to get to that? I guess that gate's closed. All right, well then we may as well head back here and ask Arabe. In theory. Do -do 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 -do. Enter. Oh, we're supposed to ask Corgus about something? Is that what it said? We can do that. There we go. Um, Corgus is here, right? Let's go talk to him. 1,000 gold coins for you, just as you promised. All right. Um, I have a job. Pay hey, generously. Uh, what, what do you mean a job for someone like me? I would just... We don't... We're not... We've had enough of that. We're just gonna... No, you know what? We're gonna be touchy about it. For an adventure ready to sell their soul for booze and then lie down drunk in the gutter. Or do you think you're somehow different? Traveling knight, perhaps? Noble of heart, but without coin to your name? I, I'm, I'm not a knight, that's for sure. You seem reliable enough ally to me. And you did get me out of this mongrel cave, so why should I care what you do with the money once you've got it? Um, I failed a perception check. What does the job involve? Ah, uh, you should be my bodyguard. You see, I have good reason to return to my mansion here in Canabras. I still have, well, it doesn't matter. It's none of your business. The mansion is a breathtaking building with a large garden. Even before the demons attacked, every thief and frost from the city tried to get inside one way or the other. I shudder to imagine the state it's in now. I have little hope that my guards were able to hold the mansion in attack, and I expect the servants fled when they saw the demons. Only Abadar knows what's happened there since. Therefore, I would ask you to meet me in my mansion and guard me until I complete my business. I already asked the local paladins, but they have no desire to set foot outside the tavern. Damn cowards and traitors, that's what they are. Also, please take Camellia with you. I trust that girl more than the rest of your gang. She is of noble birth, after all. Uh, what are we talking about? A thousand coins. Uh, should we try that again? I mean, we would need an eleven. Failed it again. <laughs> ah, we just can't make that roll. All right, that's fine. All right, uh, there's a traitor I'm trying to track down. Who's your informant among the tieflings? Canevers is threatened by Demon Horde, and you'll have enough time to spare to help out thieves? I don't like this, but I hope you know what you're doing. I'll tell you everything I know. I did not see my informant's face. He slipped out of a dark alley, handed me a note, and disappeared. He had a cloak with a hood mask in his face. But the horns, the long horns, didn't fit under it. There should be a guardian golem in Ancestries and Wonders, the shop they tried to rob. The owner gave us the construct's code word just in case. The golem itself was destroyed, but the head seems to be intact, so you can interrogate the thing and find out what it saw. The code word is Hand of uh, Irori. The shop's owner must have escaped, but there's a chance you'll get the lucky, uh, you'll get lucky with the golem. Okay. Alright, got another uh, another spot on the map all figured out. Let's head back out. Because there's two more places on the map to go to. Figured it out. If you left click, you have to left click within the light. If you right click, you can you can click wherever you want. Uh, we'll stick with this party so far. All right. Deduce the traitor's identity. Ah, there we go. It's right there. Sure. Still got to go there. But this is all on this side of the river. All right. Failed to sneak past some enemies. Again. We're not very sneaky. Um. We can get a charge off, can't we? Yes. Right through the crowd. For one damage. How do we do one damage? Aren't we supposed to get a bonus from the charge? On the attack roll. Oh, okay. And take a, uh, and then we take a, a hit to our AC. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to... I'll just shoot. I say, I get out of the way so maybe somebody else could make a charge, but two shots with him is more likely to, uh, to kill somebody. Uh, does he have any other weapons? Um... Burning hands. Grease. Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll go up here and take the attack. we got a couple more people coming up, so there's a chance. Sneak attack. i got to figure out how sneak attack works. Because it gave it to us once in the last fight, but not another time. Is it just where we are in position? 
Let's go to uh, character. Wolgif abilities. Sneak attack. Um, anytime their character be denied a dex bonus to e AC. Target actually has a. Well, we weren't. Um, the fly should not have lost its AC for that. I mean, we didn't do anything special. We were the only one on it, so it shouldn't have been a flank. It doesn't really matter which way they're looking um, for anything other than, like, you know, you know, like magic spells and stuff like that, you know, but um, but we should have had to have somebody else there for the flank. I don't know. I don't know why we got it. He gave it to us. Okay. No, <laughs> she sits down. I like that. Uh, where do we go to get out of here? There we go. Oh. I guess I could have just hit continue. Yeah. Let's head in. Polished oak shelves. It's left for the grubby handprints of the robbers. Please get me out of here. Hmm. I can hear your footsteps. Pull me out. Hello? Pinion, the talking weapon. Phew, at last. I thought I'd be flattened like a pancake under that rabble. Much obliged. Damn. I'm not in any pain, but my head is still foggy for some reason. With all the hubbub in the city. My name's Finian. I'm a pathfinder. Okay. Um, yeah, the city's under attack by demons. Wait, what? Last time I saw some thieves breaking in here. Then the guards came, everyone was running around. After that, it's a bit of a blur. Right when things got intense, they dropped a cabin on me. I couldn't even help the owner. I was just lying under the shelves like a dimwit until you came along. They're demons. We must do something about it. The city needs every blade it can get. Hey, do you mind taking me with you? I don't think I can handle this alone. Besides, more the merrier. Um, you're a pathfinder? That's right. Fidian Dithmar. Pathfinder and crusader. I roamed around the world wound whenever my, wherever my task led me. Scouting mostly. But this uh, last while I've been hanging around in Canebras, waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored out of my mind, but at least the shop makes for better lodging than some in. Uh, all right. I've been out here. I've been here so long I don't remember anymore. Just sitting and waiting for my anywhere from the Pathfinders. But it looks like everyone's forgotten me. The shop owner's a friend of the Pathfinders to take it up. He said, oh, right, I guess. Is there anything your party is missing? A sword, a spear, a boat? Just say the word. Ooh, we could go with an axe. You have a unique companion. Finny and the Talking Weapon. You can access him through a special button in your inventory. Click on it to initiate dialogue with him or change his form to make him the shape of any weapon before handing him to one of the characters in your party. There are no limitations to changing Finian's form. Become more powerful as his personal story increases. That's pretty cool. So... I've already lost... Oh, Finian, right here. So right now we've got this cool glaive. She's got the Radiant Longsword. Could we go with like a cool rapier for her maybe? Or a special longbow for him? All right, start dialogue. Uh, you know, I've never regretted following you. Everyone seems to revolve around you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Uh, do you realize you're a weapon? What kind of question is that? I mean, sure, the clerics keep going on about every crusader being a weapon in Emo Day. But I don't speak of myself in fancy words like that. I'm just a lag, lad with two arms, two legs, and more freckles than I'd like. I choose where to go and whom to fight for. I don't want to be somebody's weapon, you hear? Everything is dead. Everybody decides their fate. All right. Um, are you still able to compete with spirits? Maybe I can. Only they don't want to answer me. I'm still a spiritualist, a phantom blade. <laughs> My power's within me, but I have a feeling I'm separated from the spirit world by some kind of transparent wall. I keep knocking, but no one can hear me, I think. Guess all the blades Miss Torture did a number on me. He broke something inside. Huh. I remember thinking before you ended up in Canebras. I mean, a lot of things happened. I remember being happy when the wards... How happy everyone was when the wardstone was placed in Canebras. That was some celebration. And I remember when the cultists took me. 
Cut down my whole party and dragged me to the ringleader. Don't know his name. Everyone just called him the bladesmith. After that, my memory's fuzzy. For some reason, he didn't sacrifice me or anything. Just knocked me around. Said he'd been looking for a phantom blade for a long time. I don't remember why. How I escaped what I did? Can't remember that either. Some crusader picked me up in the wound. Brought me to Canebris. That's where I stayed. Look at my wounds. Maybe there's a mix-up and I think I'm dead. Why else would none of them contact me this whole time? Uh, the Wardstone. What you're describing happened decades ago. That's rich. Now you tell me I've been sleeping for decades. Last year that was. Maybe the year before last. Couldn't have been wandering the wound that long. I would have been dead or an old geezer now. Quit messing with me. Uh, you need to understand. You're not a human anymore. You feeling all right? Maybe you need to have a lie down. I was standing right in, standing right in front of you. Poke me if you like. It's human as they come. Do you think my travels have worn me down so much I've become an animal? Not happening. My folks taught me to stay human always, no matter the circumstances, to remember who I am and never shame my ancestors. Um, all right. All right, so how do we get him... Ah, there we go. So what if we make him a composite longbow? Two to nine, plus one to hit. Composite cold iron ghost touch enhancement. Yes, that's what we're going to go with for now. Whoops. Let's go back and find that again. There we go. Beauty. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's a neat touch. All right, some scrolls. Polished oak shelves. We saw that. Now, what is that? Uh, I'm not sure which one I found. We've got all of this. Okay, so let's go. Let's start here. Just regular loot. More regular loot. What's that? Pipe fox. Someone's a pipe fox familiar. Uh, plus three insight bonus on knowledge. Plus two on perception skill. Okay. So, where did our pipe fox go? Usable. Oh. Equip. Oh, it goes. Oh, it goes under the belt. Um. So then, if we go here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lying in the corner next to Scorch Wall, Gollum's eyes glow in the doom. Master, code word. All right, hand of Irori. Code word correct, waiting orders. Uh, tell me about the suspicious people who came to the shop last week. 56 individuals entered the shop. Human female old, no male old. Human female. He's reeling off customers till nightfall. We need to ask in a different way. Um, were any of the suspicious people tieflings? Tieflings, three. Tiefling male, middle-aged. Tiefling male, young. Tiefling female, young. All right, the young male. Uh, medium height, short horns, curling backwards. Medium tail length, yellow eye color. Black. Special observation, annoyed master. Well, that could be ours, right? Backward, yellow eye. That's probably him. That sounds like me, but it's not possible. I know what the security's like here. I didn't come near the place. I give you my word, chief. No special observations. Subject was unremarkable. There. Couldn't have been me. All right. Middle-aged male tiefling. Medium height. Long horns. Medium length hair. Pale blue eyes. Dark skin. Special observation. Red hair. Oh, sorry. So eyes are blue. Skin was dark. But with red hair and long horns. Now, it sounded like maybe it had long horns that she talked to because she said they couldn't, they couldn't hide under the... Hood? That's our traitor. Karis my drilled into our heads that we wasn't to go hanging around the shop. Red hair. We got a couple gingers and plenty more who get off, who get it out of a bottle. So much for special observation. Golems aren't all they cracked up to be. All right. Female. Was Longhorns, perhaps a Sendio Goblin. Okay. Above average height, 
long pale hair, tail not observed, long horns, blue special observation, scar on nose, nose, baldric with gold stitching. I don't know that one. Gold stitching, wouldn't mind getting to know her a little bit better. All right. Um, where's your master? He's in his hiding place. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, where's the basement? Basement's below me. I guard the basement. Leaving my post is prohibited. Okay. Uh, Gafford and son. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. All right. So it's beneath it. Oops. Move the golem. Down we go. Pick the lock. Got a hundred percent. Ah, there we go. Fill them in Pruliatros. Marauders, bandits, scavengers. Uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense. We're all those and much, much more. Before you report us to the authorities, mind if we have a chat? Um, are you the shop owner? We're just gonna skip the good and the evil. We're just gonna go straight to you. Uh, you the shop owner. There's no reason to push our, 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 uh, whatever the heck that's called. <laughs> No need to push it one way or the other. I've just spaced alignment. There we go. My name's uh, Philemon uh, Fruliatros. I was the owner of this shop, but I'm not sure I can claim to be the owner of anything now. I hope there's something uh, left in it. Oh, come off. Your shop's fine. It's a bit ransacked, maybe, but nothing a bit of spit and polish can't fix. Um, where were you the night of the robbery? You think I robbed my own shop? I was here in the basement. I was told to make it look like I'd left. The watch was very keen to get their hands on those tieflings. They seem to be multiplying all over uh, Galarian. So, of course, I did everything they said. I've been stuck in the basement since. The golem wanted to move away from the door no matter how much I yelled at it. And then I thought it was all to the good. Somebody came by after the guards and caused a ruckus upstairs, bellowing like mad, talking about taking advantage of my absence. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about the tieflings. Well, I should tell you anything about my customers. You're not from the city guard or the Eagle Watch. Um, keep sticking his heels and just say the word I loosen his tongue. We do have a good intimidate and a good bluff. Uh, I'm helping the Eagle Watch to catch the culprits. Um, intimidate. It's funny that she's the one doing it. We'll just go for the bluff. Uh, so you haven't got the tieflings? I thought the city's finest were on the job. And they, you can't rely on anyone. Ask your questions then. Uh, tell me about Wolzhev. Wolzhev Jefto, right? I've known him a long time, though. I'd rather not know him at all. He's been skulking around my shop for years, treating the place like a free museum. I always wanted to look at the moon of the abyss. I chased him out, but it just slipped back in again. If he was with the gang that robbed my shop, I'll bet he swiped the moon. How come I'm the prime suspect? Whoever betrayed us all, that's the one who's got the moon. I want to see it return too, you get me? I don't like the idea of people scrubby mitts on it. Well, it does sound like he's been around. Ah, uh, red-haired? Uh, red-haired tiefling, I suppose. Yes, there's one who came in. I spent a long time looking around. He's a person of modest means. They tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Asimar made chain mail. He certainly couldn't afford it. That's when I suspected that something was off. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing and put my mind at ease. I can't remember what he looked like. I didn't get a good look at his face. All I remember is he's wrapped in a green cloak, like he was freezing. That's all I have. All right. Now the remains put the pieces together and expose. Um, okay. Uh, tiefling woman, noble lady. Unlike the tiefling ruffings we have here, she purchased magic equipment for the crusade and she promised to come again. If only tieflings were like that, I'd laugh all the way to the bank. All right, so. That is enough to help you catch thieves that I don't want to tell you. All right, so potentially the red-haired one with the cloak. And long horns, right? I guess we can check the quest. Um, he's exposed the culprit. All right, red right here. Uh... Long horns. Well, there were two with long horns, the woman and the, the man. But that one was, was skulky. Okay, out on patrol. Um, yeah, we did that. Oh, those are the ones that are done, I guess. Still looking for her. All right. 
I guess these mean they have something else. Bulk of the demon forces, uh, once once their daily crusaders up. Okay, yeah. That and devoured by darkness. One strike of the demon lords. Okay. Looks like we got all that. <clears throat> Let's head back. Um, we will have stolen everything we can steal. As we, in theory, go about solving the crime. All right. Um, I guess back to the hop to the hideout then. That's gonna make us go all the way back. Those all make us go all the way around. Uh, Great Garrison, Market Square, Tower of Estrod, Gorm's Mansion's all the way over there. Tierbod residence is back in there. Okay, let's go. Um, we'll go to Defender's Heart first, and then we'll see about the Tiefling Hideout. All right, failed to sneak. I'd rather give me the option. I'll have to look to see if there's like there's a little gear up there. Let's see if it gives me the option if I want to sneak or not. Um, charge? I will just go hit him. The spirits demand your blood. Okay. Well, Jif, uh, can you get a sneak attack now? Yes. All right, with our fancy new uh, living bow, that worked okay for us. Not too bad. All right, one more random encounter down. Continue. One more random encounter to go, and I forgot to check the little gear. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna run you back here, actually. Because I want you to take the hit and not him. Good job. All right. Now you smack the crap out of it. Good job. And you can you just stab him. Sacrificed. Hit him with the pointy end. All right, nothing there. Did good. All right, line between fascination and upset. Never mind. We'll read it at some point. Oh, full control to do your area effects as areas, not as. Uh... All right, so. Long horns, red hair, green cloak. Uh, red hair, tiefling, and green cloak. All right. Uh, take a good look at the suspects. Only redheads are Melrune and Dorfi. Dorfi, the green skinned tieflings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Tabby have straight horns. Dark-skinned males are Veneer, Doffy, Melrune. Doffy, Melrune, and Tavi have straight horns. Only Tavi's female. Only Varnier and Melrune have green cloaks. So we're looking for Melrune, who is redhead and has a green cloak. You'll pay for this. Votel and Hepsamira will get you in the end. I don't know who those people are. Yeah, he wasn't getting out. 
grab him, take him away for questioning. All right, job done. He confessed. Someone connected to the cult of Baphomet ordered him to steal the Moon of the Abyss, and the best idea he'd come up with was to drag us into it. He got the scroll to take out the goblin, betrayed us to Irabeth, so he could swipe the amulet in the chaos. He thought we'd get nicked, and he'd slink off to meet with his customers. You got the Moon of the Abyss? Let me look at it one more time. My whole life I've jumped to hold it in my hands, if only for a second. He said when he got to the window display, the moon was gone. He's lying, of course. He had time to hand the moon off to the person who ordered it. Bloody cultist. I don't really give a toss. I'm just glad we got to the bottom of this. Um... What are you going to do now? Clear this place out. Sooner the better. City's dying. Don't want to die with it. City already would have died if not for the people who stood up to defend it with the weapons in their hands. So defend it. I'm not stopping yet. Sure, City. But we've always been outsiders here. Why should we fight for you now? Fair enough. All right. Good decision. Sister, you forgot something. What now? You should be happy to be alive. An apology. You promised to apologize to me loudly in front of everyone. We're alone now, but I still want to hear it. Well, ah, uh, that. So... Sorry, I suppose, for being wrong about you this time. Don't think you're just because you act like a jerk this this one time that it cancels out the rest of your record. I know all about you. Next time, Olja. That is the most... Yeah, we'll go for it. All right, fine. I'm sorry, Olja. Let's lead on good terms. Um, yeah, I don't care. They didn't accuse me. I wasn't really an ally yet until we found out the answer, so... All right. Better than nothing. Listen, Chief, you got a spare minute? Come see me. I got something I want to discuss with you. But for now, let's get out of here. I don't like sitting below ground when the building above is ready to crash down on our heads. All right. I think I will head us back to uh, to town. To the, to the tavern. I guess we're already in town. So we'll pick this one up next time. Um, as always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you then. Cheers.